Hello! I want to make a very fun video today, uh, which is like Christmas come early because I have a load of packages to open. I have no idea what is inside, so I thought we could discover it together and I'll open them all. Uh, these are packages uh, that I found piled up on the other side of my front door um, when I returned home after a week in America. And I, I believe that all of these are books which publishers have kindly sent me. I know I'm in a very wonderful position of uh, being sent a lot of books for review and I feel very privileged and lucky um, to be in this position and uh, but yeah also it's like a reader's dream to arrive home to find a big pile of packages of books um, to open so uh, should shall I try to lift all of them up I know this is a slightly foolhardy thing to do because uh, they'll probably all tumble and fall down but yeah let me try to lift them all so these are all the packages I have, um, including excitingly, a very big uh, post box, um, which, yeah, I don't know what is inside, but I've got some scissors available. Whew, I'm, I need to do some more push ups because yeah, that was really difficult to, to do. So, um, yeah, I have some scissors to, to open up some of the, the trickier to open packages. Um, but uh, but I also have, I first want to show off um, uh, books that I got in America while I was there because of course I went book shopping um, while I was there when visiting my family in Maine. And uh, so I got a couple of books um, from a print bookshop in Portland, um, which is a really lovely bookshop, um, which uh, actually my friend Christy brought for me um, because I visited her, her while I was there. And we went to a couple of different bookshops and um, had lunch in Portland and I've known Christy since I was a teenager and we went to high school together and uh, and so yeah it was really wonderful to see her and she's a great reader too um, some of you probably know her on social media I'll put down her Twitter handle um, if you want to um, see what she's been reading she's always talking about books and so we always like to go book shopping um, when we're together and she bought me some early Christmas presents which are Harrow by Joy Williams um, which I, I was really excited looking at because I've read um, some of Joy Williams Williams short stories before but I'm um, not any of her novels she's written a number of books and this is her first novel in quite a long time this is a post-apocalyptic story um, about a girl um, whose mother disappears and she goes searching for and finds a community of older people um, and she meets a, another boy there but is also learning from this community of older people um, and trying to appreciate what's left of the natural environment in this post-apocalyptic society and yeah, it has such a striking, beautiful cover. And uh, so here's the, the bookmark from Print Bookshop, which is a really beautiful bookshop, um, really wonderfully laid out. And um, she also got me um, the novel Nobody, Somebody, Anybody uh, by Kelly McClory, um, which also has a great cover and is, um, despite what the cover says, I think this is a contemporary story about a, a young woman who is studying to be an EMT. And um, while she's waiting to take that exam she um, is is working uh, in a lot of uh, manual labor um, uh, cleaning and 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 things like that so um, so yeah it's, it captures um, the sort of loneliness of, of modern life and trying to connect with with other people in the the modern world and uh, I also um, we went to uh, another bookshop um, Sherman's bookshop in uh, the old port I'm um, not too far away from uh, where print bookshop is and uh, I got the cop a copy of the novel uh, Benef Beneficence um, I have trouble saying that title um, by Meredith Hall um, which I was just sort of idly looking at and Christy started pointing at it and saying like that's a good book um, also it is set in Maine so it's appropriate that I, I uh, bought a novel that's set in Maine um, during there or at least I think it's it's all set in Maine and it's a, a story um, about uh, what is it about it's um, it's a it's a uh, oh yeah yeah, it's a, it's a story about um, a woman in a family um, who's uh, appreciative of, of her family life, but then there's a death in the immediate family, and so it's about the, the grieving process of that. And Meredith Hall um, wrote a memoir um, which was very well received, and um, yeah, and, and I just really liked the, the sound of it. I also got a copy of Rami Al Alamadine's uh, novel, The Angel of History, um, and I've been wanting to read more by him um, because I, I read his most recent novel called The Ron End of the Telescope, um, which I thought was a really excellent book, and I've, I've not read anything else by him, so um, I saw this on sale at Sherman.
Sherman's bookshop, so snapped up a copy. And uh, yeah, and this is uh, the story of um, um, of, a, of a gay man um, and uh, a gay Arab man in a number of different cities and um, following his life. Um, so it's it's a story which um, is very. Uh, reminiscent of um, some parts of the Ron end of the telescope. And so, um, yeah, I'm eager to read more of his perspective. Okay, so those are the books I bought when I was in Maine or that were bought kindly for me by, by Christy. Uh, so, oops, sorry, uh, making the camera shake and now getting into opening some of the books. So let's discover what is inside. I've been told it's very soothing hearing the sound of the packages opening. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try to continue to be very soothing. So, okay, wow, what is this? Oh, wow, it's two books. Okay, two um, very short looking books called What Will It Take for Me to Leave by Lorraine Vela, uh, translated by Kate Storas and Skintilas, uh, New Maltese writing, editing, edited by Jen Kaleha, uh, who um, wrote a book, uh, I read a book that she translated uh, earlier this year, uh, and Kate Storis. Okay, so what will it take for me to leave? Um, sounds like a really interesting novel. Uh, it was uh, shortlisted for the 2020 National Book Prize of Malta, and it's about a multitude of figures and disembodied uh, voices uh, barter the terms of relationships, solve puzzles, set riddles, uh, play hide and seek. Um, so it sounds like a very playful narrative. Uh, I also like uh, that Sophie Hughes um, who's the translator of the incredible novel Hurricane Season. She says of this uh, book that it's stories and vignettes so relatable about lives and issues so familiar they almost read like horror as they reach their disturbingly incisive, revelatory, and always deeply satisfying denouement. And then there is this uh, anthology which is in two sections. Um, the first section is uh, uh, labeled Fables and then the second section is labeled uh, Reflections, and you can see all of the authors listed here. Next up, we have uh, Wolfskin by Laura Moreno. So this is translated from the Spanish by Katie Whitmore, and it's about a woman in her mid-30s that is going through a big life change as her husband has left her and her father has died and her mother is living in the Canary Islands. And it uh, follows her story as she goes to live with her sister and starts to make a new life for herself. So uh, yeah, this uh, sounds quite good. And I've been wanting to read more Spanish fiction. Um, since I recently visited the Canary Islands myself. Here we go. Next up, a, a bad business. Uh, oh, this is uh, by Dostoevsky. Wow. Okay, so this is a reprint of an older book. And um, yeah, this uh, this press, um, yeah, Pushkin Press. Yeah, they they publish such beautiful reprints of uh, classic literature. Okay, so these are short stories, and you can see Dostoevsky himself there in this fantastic portrait, and uh, or as the, the book labels it, essential stories. And uh, so, yeah, he writes with great psychological insight and about the, the social situation in Russia in the mid-1800s. And uh, so these short stories are about an arrogant nobleman and and uh, a struggling writer and a civil servant um, who finds unexpected clarity from inside the belly of a crocodile. Um, so yeah, they sound really creative and fun. Next up is a package from the US and I don't often get packages from the US. So, um, oh, okay, this is too difficult to, to open. So I'm gonna get out my trusty scissors. Really struggle with this. <laughs> okay, cut an opening. Uh, I always get so scared that I'm going to damage the book when I start, you know, using scissors to cut into a package because um, that has happened sometimes, and it's very sad. Uh, okay. Oh, this is Coco at the Ritz by Gioia 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 Gioia. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Diliberto. <laughs> so, uh, who, um, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So, um, this is an author of biographies 
and uh, but this is a novel about the eternally enigmatic Coco Chanel. So yeah, I'm sure this will be quite a, a glamorous and glitzy story. I think I did once see a, a movie about the, the life of uh, Coco Chanel, uh, which I really enjoyed, and she did have a fascinating life. So yeah, I'll be really interested to, to read uh, fiction about her. Up a much oh I was gonna say this is much more easy to open but then uh, yeah it uh, not so easy okay but there there we go so what have we here there is oh wow this is a, a really beautiful cover uh, so this is Women Ho by Samuel Fisher wow so this novel is set in an alternate present and is about a terminally terminally ill mother and her adult son and it's set in a in a um, small English village in, in Essex and uh, yeah I just oh, I just love the cover of this and this won't be published until February and, and I probably should say that a lot of these books um, I'm now being sent a lot of books that are going to be published in early 2022 so these are upcoming novels and uh, but yeah um, a lot of ones that I'm really looking forward to okay that opened much easier <laughs> so next we have oh wow there's this cover is entirely blank it just shows a part of a face uh, what is it called uh, so the Deloriad by Missouri Williams wow that's intriguing uh, oh so this is published by dead ink press um, which is really interesting publisher so this is another post-apocalyptic uh, book uh, which is about a family descended uh, from incest and uh, following their their lives um, as the the family is mercilessly ruled by the matriarch uh, who dreams of starting humanity over uh, but her children and the children they have with one another aren't so sure uh, so wow sounds like quite a creepy uh, story but uh, if you're sort of for in the mood for that in the winter um, then yeah this sounds like a good book for that it's being published at the beginning of March here we go and oh, it's quite a big book uh, so oh wow another book that has uh, doesn't have a title on the cover but just very striking abstract design and this is uh, there are more things by Yara Rodriguez Fowler uh, who uh, yeah is I started reading this author's book stubborn archivist uh, a while ago and um, I think that was her debut novel but I didn't really get along with that although well but um, but I did think she has a really striking point of view um, so this is about a political family in Brazil uh, Katarina grows up in the shadow of her dead aunt Laura Melissa a South London native is brought up by her mum and a crew of rebellious grandmothers uh, so yeah this is um, yeah she's a writer that is sort of uh, writes a lot about the experience between Brazil and uh, and England um, which I think is a really unique point of view so I would be interested to try more of her writing um, she she also wrote a really great review of the novel Palmares by Gail Jones which I read recently um, so I really appreciated um, her point of view uh, but yeah so uh, yeah and I do really like this this cover so I'll be interested to try it out and see if I get along better with this novel next up we have Here Again Now by Okachuku uh, Nuzulu and uh, yeah this author I read I this is another author that I started reading his debut novel and uh, what was that called um, just trying to see Oh, where is it? Oh yeah, um, so oh yeah, The Private Joys of Nina Maloney. Um, and yeah, and I started reading that novel, uh, but I just, yeah, I didn't really get along with it all that well. I couldn't really get into the perspectives of it. And uh, so, yeah, this is a novel uh, about masculin masculinity, love, and grief. And uh, it's an author praised by Bernadine Evaristo, who says that uh, Nazulu writes with a witty confidence, I expect this writer to go far. And it's about one man who's an up-and-coming actor um, who's about to star in his first, like, big uh, 
big big film and um and his friend who is slightly more lost in his life and trying to figure out where to go so i think it's uh, about the the contrasting um experiences of uh two different young gay men um exploring their lives next up is uh oh this is oh great uh this is um a book published by Granta uh, by Alejandro Zambra, um, who's such an interesting South American writer. Um, I loved his book, Multiple Choices. And uh, yeah, this is a novel, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a novel um, called Chilean Poet. And uh, it's, it's a story about a would-be poet in a city full of poets reunites with his high school sweetheart, Carla, now the mother of a six-year-old boy. And uh, so, yeah, it's following his story. And uh, yeah, he's such an interesting writer and I'm so keen to, to read this. So yeah, it's been published in March of 2022. So, this is another hardback book. Oh, which is Beasts of a uh, Little Land. Uh, I was sent an advanced copy of, of this, but this is uh, the finished hardback, um, which is really beautifully done. It's about a young girl in uh, Korea in the early 1900s um, who is sold uh, into becoming a courtesan and uh, following her story in, in that time period in, in Korea. Um, so yeah, sounds like quite a harrowing uh, story. <coughs> I love that sound. Okay, uh, so this is Anthem by Noah Hawley. Uh, here we go, it's the finished cover. So this is a novel set in America um, with a background of environmental disaster and opioid addiction, uh, but it's about a man um, that is uh, sort of super rich and sort of flying above uh, all, of, all of this uh, chaos in the country and his experiences with his son and how they meet uh, another young man um, who calls himself the Prophet. There we go. What is next? Uh, so, oh wow, this is a really beautiful looking book. Um, of course, yeah, published by Pushkin Press again. Uh, yeah, really gorgeous. Uh, so, uh, Do No Elegies by Rainer Maria Rilke, uh, another classic author um, who I've never really read before, but um, who I know is like much respected and uh so uh oh wow I, I never realized this so they say this in um the the inside cover that in 1931 virginia and leonard wolf's hogarth press printed a few hundred copies of a beautiful edition of rainer maria rilke's uh duono elegies in english translation um by the writers vita sackwell west and her cousin edward sackwell west um, so this was uh, the debut of, of Rilke's writing um, in England. And uh, so now this has been reprinted uh, in for the first time in 90 years. And wow, what a, what a gorgeous cover. And this, unlike a lot of these books, um, isn't being published next year. Um, this has just been published at the beginning of December. So it is out now. Next up, uh, oh gosh, I feel so fortunate to get all of these, these books. It's really like an amazing thing. Oh, this is so exciting. And uh, so this is a finished copy of Sri Hustvet's uh, new collection of essays, which uh, I talked about in my end of the year book tag as one of the, the books being published this year um, that I'm most looking forward to. And this is another book that is um, being published, um, just been published at the beginning of December. So it's, it's out now. So these are essays um, all uh, about um, feminism and uh, art, and um, which are subjects that Sri Hustvet writes a lot about. I, I love her fiction. And and um, she's such an intelligent and um, creative voice. And um, so, yeah, I'm really eager to read more of her, her nonfiction and her point of view. Okay. Up next, oh, it's another hardback book, but it's really tightly packed in, so difficult to get out. Okay, so this is a finished copy of Skylark by Alice O'Keefe, um, which is another novel which has um, just come out recently and is out now. And um, I talked about it in a previous book haul video because I got an advance copy of it. But it's, yeah, it's about the um, scandal, um, police scandal recently in England of um, how in the mid 90s, some uh, policemen um, went undercover, uh, in infiltrated some environmental groups to find out what was going on in these groups and infiltrated them in a very personal way.
developing relationships with some people from these groups. And um, this was a true story and a big scandal that, that came out recently in the, the press um, in, in recent years. And, um, and so, yeah, an incredible um, story. And this is a fictional account of that, of a policeman that uh, gets married in, in um to a woman who's an environmental activist and has a child with her. And, and this is something that really happened. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, um, but yeah, this is obviously just a novel um, coming up with characters, you know, based on this real life incident. Um, so, yeah, really striking sounding story, um, one that yeah, I've been wanting to get to. Okay, and we finally got to the big uh, box. So uh, this might be slightly more difficult to open and um, see what goodies await me in here and ooh, it's very it comes like wrapped in tissue paper but again it's a bit difficult to get out uh, so these are oh you know what I think this is is a whole group of books that have been listed for a book prize because uh, yeah, sometimes book prizes send me uh, groups of books. Oh yeah, so this is um, for the David Cohen uh, Prize for Literature, um, which was established in 1992. And um, this is a selection of books, oh, from previous winners. Oh yeah, so I think, because um, yeah, this prize is sort of labeled as the UK Nobel Prize um, for Literature, because uh, it rewards an author for their body of work, you know, rather than a single title. Um, so um, yeah, so these are some authors that were past winners of this prize, um, including Hilary Mantel, and Muriel Spark, and William Trevor, and uh, Tom Gunn, and Edna O'Brien. Um, so yeah, really fantastic authors and uh, so yeah this is a, a book prize I think it's only awarded every other year um, but um, but yeah I think it's really interesting when book prizes yeah reward writers for you know all of their work um, like the Nobel um, rather than yeah just a single title and uh, oh yeah I love this novel um, Memento Mori I, I'd read this for the first time a few years ago and it was one of my favorite books that I read that year it was so hilarious it's one one of the books that I, I read to my partner aloud in its entirety when we were on a road trip together in, in England and we were just laughing so much. It, it's a very sort of dark um, sense of humor, um, but, but is really funny and really cutting uh, to its um, very vivid characters. And uh, yeah, actually, I not read um, this book, An Experience in Love, by Hilary Mantel. Um, I've read a number of her books um, outside of the uh, Thomas Cromwell trilogy. Um, I've also loved her novel, Beyond Black. And um, so, yeah, I've been wanting to read more by her, you know, outside of that very famous um, series. And uh, William Trevor is a book, uh, writer i've uh i've read some in the past but but not all that much so um yeah i'd be curious to read uh felicia's journey and uh vs naipaul is i i think a slightly controversial figure though like a very well respected writer um but i've not read any of his books before and i know a bend in a river is one of his most famous so um so yeah i'd be curious to read this i've not seen this edition before and um tom gunn um is a poet of uh, great acclaim i'm a great gay writer and um, these are his selected poems that i've been wanting to read more by him i know um andrew mcmillan uh he, tom gunn is a big influence on the the current poet Andrew McMillan um, so yeah I've been wanting to read more of this writer's work and uh, yeah then and no Brian oh this is great yeah I've been wanting to I've not read her any of her books from uh, the the country girls and um, so this was a trilogy of books and I didn't even know that there was this big omnibus edition published of all three novels in in one book um, so yeah this that's really exciting to receive so yeah what a great what a great thing um, so yeah this is um, from New Writing North and it's the David Cohen Prize for literature and I think uh, yeah so the this the announcement of this year's winner will be on December 13th so that's something to look forward to um, that'll be happening very soon to see what writer is announced as this year's winner and they will receive 40,000 pounds so yeah pretty big prize and uh, yeah really exciting to to see what the outcome of that will be so 
Yeah, there you go. Wow, quite a lot of really interesting new books. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like the sound of any of these. Um, and um, yeah, I'll put a link below to um, this book prize um, so you can see um, some more of the past winners. You know, like I talked about in a video recently talking about the Costa Book Awards. It's so fascinating looking at past winners of, of a book prize. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for following me in this journey and discovering what is in all of these packages. I hope uh, you get some uh, good packages soon. It's always wonderful ordering from bookshops and, and getting a package in the mail. I think there's something especially exciting about that, you know, and uh, as well as it's exciting to, to go into bookshops themselves and have a good browse around, but also lovely to get a package of books. And I hope you get lots of books for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, um, because yeah, I'm, I always, um, not many people buy me books for <laughs> Christmas because I always figure like oh you have too many books um, but I'm, I'm hoping to get some more this Christmas because uh, yeah I, I always really enjoy getting more new books even though I have quite a lot already but uh, yeah I hope you're doing well and I will speak to you again soon bye bye